Hey guys, it's Cassie and today we are going to be doing my monthly instalment of what's new in luxury fashion. I talk to you about fashion news, what's hot, what's new, what do you need to know about. I do all the groundwork so that you don't have to. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I've got videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're going to love it here. So head down the subscribe and on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. All right, if these items are available or if we're talking about something that's in stock or whatever, the links will be below. Kicking it off with fashion news. There was a little bit of a tiff, shall we say, this month between Dior and Valentino. So this month had Couture Week, all those glorious haute couture gowns skimming the ground and runways. Glorious, glorious times. Now, during this, Valentino held a very extravagant, fabulous show on the Spanish steps in Rome. And obviously because of that and the attendees and things, certain areas were blocked and all of that. And apparently Valentino had let the sort of nearby stores and shops, whatever, aware of this. Now, Dior Italia's retail director claimed that this caused so much disruption for their Dior store in the area that they lost about a hundred thousand dollars worth of business. They issued a notice to Valentino to pay up that compensation. This reminds me very much of, you know, like school ground fights. Because within 24 hours, Dior issued um, a, not quite an apology, but asked Valentino to disregard that notice, citing mutual respect and cordial relations. I did find this rather amusing. It was very uh, funny to watch in real time this play out. Um, on a separate note, the Valentino Couture show was glorious. Okay, speaking of shows, Diesel is going to open up their show to the public. Yes, Diesel is participating in Milan Fashion Week in September. And as part of this, they have basically allowed a certain number of seats that will be on a first come first serve basis to register for. I believe registration opens on the 1st of September. And look, Diesel is one of those brands that's really gaining a lot of traction recently. And it's one of the hot ticket shows to attend. So if you live in Milan, if you're in the Milan area, you're a Diesel fan or you love fashion, go register, have a go. And you never know, we might see you on the front row. Fashion news item number three, Burberry expands their re-Burberry initiative. So I believe they started in 2020. 20, Burberry basically started this re-Burberry initiative in collaboration basically with the British Fashion Council to donate excess fabric to fashion schools and universities around the UK for them to be upcycled and used and not just, you know, gone to die on a hill somewhere, you know? So they recently announced their second donation and at this point they've donated 12,000 meters of fabric from previous Burberry collections to, I think, over 30 fashion schools around the UK. I think this is great, I think it's a fabulous initiative and I hope that more brands do something similar because it's a win-win situation. Next up, Fendi is coming to New York Fashion Week. <gasps> How does that make any sense? Well, they announced that for the 25th anniversary of the Fendi baguette bag, they will be hosting a very special show as part of New York Fashion Week in September. I think that there will be lots to see. I think they will have some really like iconic supermodels involved because the face of this campaign that they announced was Linda Evangelista and this is actually her first modeling job since she publicly shared her um, bad experience with cool sculpting and she basically said that it left her permanently deformed so this is the first time we've seen her since then so I think it's gonna be a real spectacle and I think it's gonna be fun 25 years of, of the baguette <gasps> Be prepared to see more like fabulous special edition variations of the baguette that will inevitably drop with this. Moving on to new and noteworthy. Okay, as we know, the Louis Vuitton Nike collab finally dropped. And I know, I'm sorry if you're sick and tired about this, this will be the last time, I promise. I promise, after this, mouth shut, okay? Very hotly anticipated. We've been talking about this for forever, right? Actually dropped. 
Websites were crashing left, right and center. There was a worldwide crash at one point, which meant that even if you wanted to go on Louis Vuitton to buy literally anything else, you couldn't. So the whole thing was, um, for lack of a better word, a mess, in my opinion, but whatever. I actually saw online, I don't know if this is true, that everything sold out within the first 30 seconds. How much are these now going for on retail sites? Well, I've seen everything from, I think the cheapest I've seen is $13,000. The average price these are going for is about $25,000, but I have seen $188,000 doll hairs. I know, ridiculous. Um, will anybody pay that? Good question. Leading on from that, another collaboration that there were natterings about, there were rumours, we were hearing little chitter chatter, little birdies telling us news, that there was going to be a round two of Louis Vuitton and Supreme collaborating. Apparently a source from inside Louis Vuitton has confirmed that this is not true, so don't get your hopes up anytime soon. Next up, Balenciaga, they love to keep us on our toes, don't they? They did a collaboration with Bang & Olufsen, a uh, very famous sort of uh, sound company, to release the speaker bag. It is a bag-shaped speaker that you can carry around and play your favourite tunes. Is that essentially a boombox? Yes, but in a bag shape. It also does have a compartment at the back, which is leather-lined, I believe. I don't know if that bit then makes it the bag. Either way, this is aluminium, of course, it's like top performance quality, um, it has been dubbed Haute Couture Hi-Fi, so in case your little JBL or your Bose or your Bang & Olufsen speaker isn't cutting it, you're like, oh, just not chic enough, just not working for me then this Balenciaga one might hit the spot for you. <laughs> and models carried this down the catwalk for the Balenciaga Couture Show. And uh, there we go. Another, while we're on the topic, another very interesting Balenciaga bag that dropped is the one that has LED lights at the bottom that spells out Balenciaga. It's a very unassuming bag like style in general. It's a bag style that they usually do, but they usually have Balenciaga printed on it. This one is plain, except for the fact that when you look down, when you cast your eyes down to the pavement, what's that? Oh, in LED lights, Balenciaga just to really let everybody know. So the next one, there's an app called Sourceware, right? And it's only available in certain countries at the moment, I believe. And basically it's a personal shopping app to find hard to find items, right? It's backed by really big personal shoppers like Gab Waller, who's like a celebrity used personal shopper, all of that business. Um, and they just opened their doors this month, I believe, and have done their first drop. I'm interested to see kind of how this app works and how it works doing these drops. So this is the first one, it's a beachwear edit and it's got things from like vintage 1994 worn by Claudia Schiffer uh, bathing suits all the way to like the most recent Chanel bikini that is, you know, everybody wants from spring summer 2022 and all sorts of bits and bobs in between. Apparently prices start from 150 US dollars. So the app in general is worth a look. Um, it's quite an interesting concept that I don't think we've seen before. Next little bit of uh, new and noteworthy news, Gucci Pets has arrived. Yes, you can Gucci-fy your, your little furry friend, okay? And look, I'm just going to say, whenever the day comes that I get a dog, don't be surprised if it rolls up in Gucci Pets because this is far too adorable. It's got everything from like a bed that looks far more grand than mine to you know little leashes and accessories and all of that so if you want to treat your pet give your pets ladies and gentlemen right moving on to hot new items do it with me together okay couple of things here this one i think is a bag that is going to be very very popular and it's a little bit elusive i can't even find out what it's called this is Balenciaga's, I'm gonna call it the Maxi Hourglass. Breaking news, this is now called the Crush Bag and it is officially on the Balenciaga site as of today. The link is in the description box. And to be honest with you, the variations look pretty good. Right, Bella Hadid was spotted 
wearing this this month it is this very soft leather huge hourglass shaped Balenciaga bag that's got a chain strap that you can double up to your shoulder bag or you could crossbody though this bag is huge so I don't know why you would crossbody but the option is there I think with BBE coming in strong big bag energy don't confuse this with the death of TVE TVE does never die okay but I think this merges that big bag trend that people are loving with the Balenciaga hourglass which is performing very well and is one of you know Balenciaga's hot pieces at the moment to combine something that I think would suit a lot of people's styles and lifestyle. Keep your eyes open for this one. I've seen it in smooth leather and then I saw it in another campaign picture in like a mock croc with gold hardware and all of that. The next one I just wanted to very briefly touch on Dior's Autumn Winter 2022 collection that just came out. A uh, couple of things to note here. Number one, Dior Bobby bag comes out in a new variation called the Dior Bobby frame bag. It's just sort of a bit sort of longer, right? So you had the Bobby, they elongated it, they gave you this one, now they're giving you that one. They've said, I see your horizontal, let's take it vertical, you know? It doesn't do much for me personally, but thought I should let you know. But there is a bag that, again, I found nestled around in the Dior website. I've heard absolutely nothing about it. And this, to me, was very fun, very edgy. This is the 30 Montan box bag? Is that what they're calling it? Apparently so. Box bag with handle. Comes in two sizes and I've only seen it in black or latte which is an off-white. I just think she's a bit edgy. I really like the top handle that's sort of this wider leather strap. I just really like the visuals of this. It's got a weird kind of opening. It has like a piercing on the D of the, of the CD. Piercing is the only way I can describe it and it kind of opens through there. So I think it's interesting Look, I mean, longevity wise, Dior is known for cutting pieces off after, you know, a year or two. But I think if you're not that bothered about that, this is a very interesting, very cool bag from them. Um, and finally, let's touch on YSL because uh, they've got a pair of shoes that's really popping off. I told you platforms were in, right? Now, if you want to take platforms to the next level, Okay, if the platform, if the Valentino Tango, if the Versace Avitas isn't doing it for you, you're like, this is child's play. Sodden YSL. Wow. I don't know if I could take a step in them. I'd like to give it a go, to be honest with you. So these are like, I'm not even going to say that they're popular amongst like us common folk, but I think amongst like the fashion set. These are definitely making a name for themselves and I also think that we'll probably see these on people teeter-tottering in September for Fashion Week. If this is a bit too aggressive for you, they are doing a block heel version at a lower heel height in case you're like, love the vibe, simply could never. I'll give you another option. There you go guys, hope you enjoyed this month's video. I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, Keep your mouth shut. I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.